so students uh, we have to start our uh, chapter 4 and our topic of the chapter is the first cities and that is from the history part yesterday means uh, previously in the previous classes we have already discussed about the meaning of the civilization okay and we came to know about the civilization meaning the indus valley civilization we have discu uh, discussed and we came to know the features of the indus valley civilization okay so we have also studied about the town planning the citadel and the lower town so life of the people okay but before starting that i want to show you a video related to harappan civilization that will make your explanation very clear so you are requested to watch the video okay that will make your explanation very clear okay so let's get started The past of India goes back several thousand years. We learn about it from the evidences which our ancestors had left behind. Even when the paper was not made, we get the evidences from dry palm leaves, plates of copper, rocks and pillars, stone walls, clay tablets, etc. The weapons, potteries, and other tools found during excavation tell us about the life and culture of the people of those times discoveries in the recent days have contributed significantly to our knowledge in knowing the past one such significant contribution from archaeologist was the discovery of sites at harappa and mohenjodaro in the year 1920 The credit goes to archaeologist Dayaram Sahni, M S Watts, Mortimer Wheeler, R D Banerjee, Sir John Marshall, Alexander Cunningham and others. The excavation done at these sites tells us about the life and culture of the civilization that flourished around 3500 BC on the bank of the river Indus. The Indus Valley civilization was a bronze age civilization that was located in the northwestern region of the Indian subcontinent. Since many of the Harappan settlements are found on the vast plain of River Saraswati which is dry today, it is also called as Indus Saraswati civilization. The Harappan culture was spread over many parts of India including the Sindh Sukhta Gandhar in Balochistan, Punjab, Haryana, Western UP, Jammu, Northern Rajasthan, Gujarat and Northern Maharashtra. The important Harappan sites are Kot Deji, located on the left bank of River Indus opposite Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, Kalibanga in North Rajasthan, Mehergarh in Balochistan. Mundigak in southern Afghanistan Dam Sadat in the Quetta valley of Baluchistan Amri near the Indus river Gumla in Gomal valley Rehman Dehri Dholavira Lothal Now let us have a look on the cities and buildings of the Harappan civilization The cities and buildings built during Harappan times reflect their exemplary construction skills. The cities were divided into upper and lower parts. The upper part built on the raised platforms is the citadel. A citadel is a fortified structure designed to provide protection during a battle. This part included the public buildings, granaries, the great bath and more important workshops and religious buildings in the lower part the people lived and carried out their professional work whenever the city was attacked or threatened by floods the inhabitants of the lower city found refuge in the citadel the granary was found in the citadel mound of mohenjodaro below the granary were the brick loading bays from which grains were raised into the citadel for storage one of the most important features of the harappan cities 
were the swimming pools popularly known as the Great Bath. The structure of the Great Bath is an example of their engineering skills. This brick-built structure measures 12 meters by 7 meters and is about 3 meters deep. It is approached at either end by flights of steps. The bath was surrounded by porticos and sets of rooms. There was also an arrangement to send hot water to pool. Water was supplied by a large well in an adjacent room. There was also a cobbled drain for disgorging water. Houses and streets of Mohenjo-daro. The lower city of Mohenjo-daro was properly planned. Here, the streets ran straight and at right angles to each other. The main street being about 10 meters wide. Houses were built on both sides of the street. Many houses were at least two-storied. Houses were built of brick and had thick, strong walls which were plastered and colored. The roofs were flat with windows and doors made of wood. Bathrooms were built on one side of the house and drains connected to the street drains. Street drains ran along the sides of the street and were lined with bricks to keep it clean. Some houses had their own wells. These houses belonged to rich merchants and high-class people. Other people who worked as laborers at the granaries and kins lived in small one-room quarters. There are also evidences that the people domesticated animals such as goats and dogs. We also get to know about the clothing of Harappan people through some of the evidences. The finding of the clay spindles suggests that the cotton weaving and yarn spinning was practiced by women at home. It is believed that women usually wore skirts and men wrapped long pieces of clothes around themselves. Both men and women were fond of ornaments. Men wore amulets and women wore bracelets and necklaces. Ornaments made of beads of shell and of gold and silver were used. System of weights and measures were also well developed in those days. Weights and measures of various shapes and sizes with accurate grading are found at many sites. They are cubical and spherical in shape and are made of dirt, jasper and agate. Small clay carts found at some of the Harappan sites imply that bullock carts were in use. On the basis of the information gathered from Harappan seals, seal impressions, terracotta and metal figures, symmetries etc., we can come to a conclusion that worship of mother goddess was prevalent in the society. Other traits of later Hinduism such as worship of Pashupati Shiva, sacred animals, trees etc. were practiced by the Harappan people. Also, a large number of figurines depicting various yogic postures indicate the practice of yoga by Harappans. The Harappans were expert craftsmen. The most famous art piece of the Harappan civilization is the bronze dancing girl discovered in Mohenjo-daro. Small clay carts, copies of carts drawn by oxen, painted jars reflect their interest and skills in art. The Harappan people had developed great skills in pottery. They decorated the pots with designs depicting snake, flower, etc. Potteries were more refined and decorated with a red slip and black paint. Clay button seals, copper dagger blades, bone tools and varieties of painted potteries have been discovered from Harappan sites. The Harappan culture lasted for more than a thousand years. The world's earliest urban civilization came to an end around 1300 BC. Natural calamities like floods, terrible epidemic diseases and attack by wild animals are the suspected reasons for their decline. Although some aspects of the Harappan culture continued after their decline, those who succeeded Harappans knew nothing of city life. 
Thus, decline of the Harappan culture was a negative event in the history of India. Brought to you by So now students, we will be starting with the life of the pupil. So as we have watched the video and understood the, about the Harappan civilization and their culture and their trade, right? The economy of the Harappan civilization was very much important because they were also using bullock carts in order to transport their goods, okay? They were selling their things to the other places. Also, you can say that the things which are produced in the Harappan civilization are also found in the other countries like in China, okay, in Germany, in these countries are being found like poet, poet pottery is there, no? You know, no, the drawings of the pottery where they are beauti uh, beautiful paintings we have seen. This kind of same thing have been found in the other countries also. So from this we can say that the Harappan civilization people also went in their that places in order to do business. Okay, so the economy and the society of the Indus Valley or the Harappan Valley civilization indicates that the pupil led very systematic way of life and organized life. Agriculture was the main occupation of the pupil as the civilization flourished near a river bank. Okay, as we know that agriculture was the main occupation. And why did they, the storage was near the river, can you say? that the where the storage was near the river i will allow you to say that why storage was near the river jishnu you say me why storage was near the river and for transportation yes that is for transportation the storage was near the river because of the transportation okay because th but the uh, what where the storage was built it was built in the citadel in the upper house in the up of the hill right upper house why because if the flood will come all the storage whatever the grains wheat they kept that will be all become mad for this reason the storage was built in the citadel okay small terracotta plows which have been uh, found in the bean toys have been found in the suggest that the use of the plowing and the cultivation the terracotta the terracotta plows have been found okay in the during that time okay you can see the word meaning of the terracotta it is already given in the page number 34 okay a type of a fired fire clay okay fire clay means with the help of first of all they will make the means uh, like doll type then they will put in the what called fire and they will just make the strong okay first it will be like uh, you can say it is a raw raw mud you know na kacha mud we are saying raw mud okay they will use the raw mud okay then they will uh, just put into the fire and they will make the strong so th this is a just type of a statues we have been found what does it says the different statues which have been found and different kinds of you can say statues which have been found with we can say from that that people were also using plowing also okay because plow models was found okay and uh, other occupation include trade pottery making and jewelry making was also there people also were found of wearing jewelries. The Indus Valley people were known to have a cultivated wheat and barley. Besides agriculture, the people also domesticated various kinds of animals such as cows, buffaloes, goats, sheep and pigs for milk and meat. The staple food of the Indus Valley uh, people included wheat, barley, rice, milk, fruits, vegetables like peas and different meat products they were doing. And for this, reason they were also keeping goat okay they were also keeping goat okay for the meat purpose they were keeping goat then you can say hand they were keeping okay the indus valley people knew the art of weaving clothes as we have came to saw in the video we saw right they were weaving clothes okay the this is proved uh, by the discovery of a large number of the spindles that were used to weave cotton spindles we have seen right yes or no you have seen the spindles and uh, the men were, wore two pieces garments that include lower garment and the upper garment. The women also had a similar garment covering the upper body part and the lower body part. The people of the Indus Valley also wore the wore ornaments. Now, what kind of clothes they used to wear? Now, men used to wear the upper garments and the lower garments. We are saying it 
gng or you can say it right so this is called garments and similarly the women we used to wear a piece of cloth long piece of cloth like a sari okay trade if you say now we will go with the trade trade was also important occupation during the indus valley civilization the merchants and the traders were also involved in the long distance trade many seals that belong to the indus valley civilization have been found at mesopotamia suggesting that the indus valley has a trade context with the distant land as i have told that the mesop this uh, indus valley civilization people also were doing uh, you can say uh, business with the distant places with which the uh, you can say other countries places okay with the other countries they were doing business because how can you know about it because the seals were found now what is seals seals are like you can say no i yes, yesterday also in the class i told you that seals are like a stamp you know na because the stamp which were used in the harappan civilization the stamp same stamp has been found in the mesopotamian civilization okay so this says us that the the harappan civilization people also used to go into the mesopotamia seals were small square of oblong uh, oblong shaped of tablets made from the soft stone or terracotta these seals have some sort of motifs such as animals figures was there tree or symbols which held some significance or may have depicted as a position of the authority this can also be the in the seal whose photo will be there animals photo any human photo will be there who is ruling them okay like raja's photo will be there understood so a dockyard has been found in the indus valley cities uh, of lothal lothal was a thriving trade center and it was trade contacts were known to be as far as west asia and africa the trade in the gems beads and other valuable ornaments trade also took place within the indus valley civilization trade goods included pottery beads and ornaments small cube shaped stones of different sizes have been found this may have been used as a weight the indus valley traders and the merchants have been systematic weight and the measures to facilitate trade so what is told here that the trade was given much importance a dockyard also have been found now what is dockyard when the ships are being loaded okay when the ships are being loaded that is called what dockyard understood the loading uh, like for example you can say that one place ships are coming and standing okay in that place like a station ship station in that place all the like uh, all the means whatever the things the ship will carry that will be being loaded that is called dockyard in dockyard loading and unloading works are going on okay in dockyard what are the things are going on loading and unloading works are going on okay and how they measured they measured with the help of you can say the you can you can see there seals you can see okay you can find see the seals here different kinds of seals then uh, you can say cube shaped stones are found of different sizes are there okay like a, you saw in the uh, photo also in the video also you saw right different kind of size accurate sizes were found okay so next we will start with the religion but time is not there so we will start with the in the next class about the religion then we will learn about the dhola vira also okay so next class we will learn about the religion and the dhola vira so students till and that take care thank you bye bye